You reckon this is connected then, the bomber? Must be. Odd, though. He hasn't been in touch. We must assume that some poor bugger's primed to explode, yeah? Yes. Any ideas? Seven. So far. Seven? He's dead about 24 hours. Maybe a bit longer. Did he drown? Well, apparently not. Not enough Thames in his lungs asphyxiated. Uh, yes, I'd agree. Uh, there's quite a bit of bruising around the nose and mouth. More bruises here and here. Fingertips. He's late 30s. I'd say, not in the best condition. He's been in the river a long while. The water's destroyed most of the data. But I'll tell you one thing. That lost Vermeer painting's a fake. What? We need to identify the corpse, find out about his friends and Wait, 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 wait. What painting? What are you, what are you on about? It's all over the place. Haven't you seen the posters? Dutch old master. Supposed to be destroyed centuries ago. Now it's turned up. Worth 30 million pounds. Okay, so what has that got to do with the stick? Everything. Have you ever heard of a golem? A golem? It's a horror story, isn't it? What are you saying? Jewish folk story. A gigantic man made of clay. It's also the name of an assassin. Real name, Oscar Zunza. One of the deadliest assassins in the world. That is his trademark style. So this is a hit? Definitely. The golem squeezes the life out of his victims with his bare hands. But what has this got to do with that painting? I don't see... Well, you do see. You just don't observe. All right, all right. Girls, calm down. Sherlock, do you want to take us through it? What do we know about this corpse? The killer's not left us with much, just the shirt and the trousers. They're pretty formal, maybe he was going out for the night. But the trousers are heavy duty, polyester, nasty, same as the shirt, cheap. They're both too big for him. So some kind of standard issue, uniform, dressed for work then. What kind of work? There's a hook on his belt for a walkie-talkie. Tube driver? Security guard? More likely. That'll be borne out by his backside. Backside? Flabby, you think that he led a sedentary life. Yet the soles of his feet and the nascent varicose veins in his legs show otherwise. So a lot of walking and a lot of sitting around. Security guards are looking good. And the watch helps too. The alarm shows he did regular night shift. Why regular? Maybe he just set his alarm like that the night before he died? No, no, no. The buttons are stiff. Hardly touched. He set his alarm like that a long time ago. His routine never varied. But there's something else. The killer must have been interrupted. Otherwise, he would have stripped the corpse completely. There was some kind of badger insignia on the shirt front that he tore off. Suggesting the dead man works somewhere recognizable, some kind of institution. Found this inside his trouser pockets. Sodden by the river, but still recognizably. What? Tickets? Ticket stubs. He worked in a museum or gallery. Did a quick check. The Hitton Gallery has reported one of its attendants is missing. Alex Woodbridge. Tonight, they unveil the rediscovered masterpiece. Now, why would anyone want to pay the golem to suffocate a perfectly ordinary gallery attendant? Inference, the dead man knew something about it, something that would stop the owner getting paid 30 million pounds. The pictures are fake. Fantastic. Merry Tricious. And a happy new year.